Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. This is Conversate with us with Chris Donovan and Evelyn Rivas. Were you racing this whole time? No, I was just looking at where I paced. Oh, so you weren't racing the whole time. I'm trying to set up the stuff to record our show. What? What? You, get, Mom, you, you know I started place. recording, Second right? place, Aiden, and I went up from 30 to mm. 31 rank. You know I'm recording, right? Oops. I wanna hear, I wanna so hear. I'm getting ready to record this podcast, and what is my wife doing? She's playing... Mario Kart. Mario Kart. What are you listening to, Aiden? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, look at how close I was to number one. Oh, my God. Look at that score. We could start the show now. Oh, it started already. <laughs> <laughs> it started already. You were doing something. You were I playing to see Mario Kart. I want to see what, No, I wasn't playing Mario Kart. You were doing something. I opened my app I'm and I realized struggling. I realized that I hadn't checked my app in a little while, which meant, oh, there's a new ranking and I need to see where I, where I placed. This is all foreign talk to anybody who doesn't play Mario Kart, but whatever. <laughs> but you see me struggling with a microphone trying to set it up so it doesn't vibrate. And yeah, over here messing with cords and cables and moving I stuff mean, around. And you're like, I would have gotten in your way. I would have. I'm like, really? Got in your way. I would have gotten your way. You're in my way right now. How? I don't know. You're just beautiful. Then I'm always in your way. Let me backpedal. I just flung my hair. Nobody could see that because I have quarantine hair. Hey guys, this is Conversate with us. This is the podcast that was in the newspaper. <laughs> oh my God, we're famous. Uh, I'm Chris Donovan. That's my wife, Evelyn Rivez. Hi. We will get to that in our right now, right now in a second. But first, I want to brag about something I made last night. Oh my God, please talk about food. Food, food, food. This is the best food I've had in a long time. Okay, so I was looking at the menu in the, okay, so we haven't used the, what is it? It's, the, it's, it's called a, it's called a it's multi-pot. Multi-pot. The Instapot thing. Yeah, I haven't. It's, we, it's an Instapot, but it is called a multi pot because it does a few more things. It's got like seven more buttons. I have no idea what they do, but it's, it's fun because I looked and it up. I've never night. used it, by the way, for the record. I'm the only one that has used <laughs> That's it. That's true. Um, so I'm trying to cook something different, new because, you know, quarantine, we would eat the same things. We have been. That's true. We've yeah. been eating the same things. And, and then I look up and I find this chicken pesto mm. spinach oh. pasta. Yes. Takes two minutes to cook. Two I'm like, that's not real. Minutes, that right? Be real. Well, because you're like, Instapot, that's uh, impossible. It's chicken. It's I, raw chicken. But How it is, is it going to have that work? It does say instant in the name. So I, I didn't, you know, I didn't question it too much. I had, we had most of the ingredients, which was crazy. Yeah, uh, we just, never have pesto like no, on hand. We did, no, and we did. We, we, actually had, did. we had a guest here that had pesto. <laughs> so, <laughs> and they left their pesto. So we had their pesto <laughs> and our pasta, and it was perfect. <laughs> and stop popping your peas. Yeah, I edit the show. You, doc, you stop it. <laughs> Uh, so I, I put it all in the Instapot. We got it going. Uh, it says put it in, push the buttons for two minutes. Evan was distracted with something. I kind of sit there and I'm like, why does it say 24 minutes now? I put it in for two, I swear. She comes over and checks it out. She goes, oh, you missed a whistle or a beep or something because it's done. It's been done. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Which was fine because it was supposed to serve like up to four. And I'm like, eh, we're, we like to eat. So I kind of joshed all the numbers higher. Which Man. is a little bit risky to do with chicken, I know, buddy. But I don't. I know how to cook. Also, <laughs> that's a fact. So, you do. So I just add a little more spinach, a little more pasta, a little more cheese, mm. a little more salt. Mm -mm -mm. It was actually quite. Nah, it wasn't really that healthy. Um, no, it, it was pretty. I mean, there was cream cheese. Okay, okay, there was cream cheese in it and butter mozzarella and butter. Not a lot of mozzarella, honestly. I just shake the shook up, shake the shake the shook up. You shake it up. <laughs> I shook it up, shake it up. Don't talk about that place. I shake it up. Um, and I was singing Taylor Swift in my head. Oh, and you were singing some old person song. She's not a Starbucks lover. <laughs> what song were you even singing? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but anyway. It came out pretty darn good. It was really good. I, I got to tell you, when he started making it, he's like, we have all the ingredients for this. Only thing I have to get is this one thing. And I was like, okay. And you put little baby tomatoes in it. I did. Cherry tomatoes. They were so yummy. Super good. And okay, I'm not a big tomatoes fan, I'm but aware. I do like cherry tomatoes. 
Our son doesn't like tomatoes. Mm-mm. He gobbled that dish up like nothing. So what I will say this is, uh, I kind of laughed when he was like, "I'm going to use the multiple. I already bought all the things. I'm going to, or I have everything I need." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Okay, cool. Then sweet. Like, make it happen. I'll make it happen. I'm gonna walk over here and do something else." So. He starts working on all of these things and he's like freaking out as I think it was on a Zoom meeting or something like that. Yes, you were. And he was he's freaking out a little bit because it's going too long. And so from my perspective, I'm like, oh, shoot, it's a pressure cooker. Yeah. And when I was younger, pressure cookers used to go like a like a freaking train. Well, and this pressure cooker, don't get me wrong. I like it a lot. I really do. But there is a part of it that really creeps me out a little bit because I it's a pressure cooker. Like anything, you think in your head like, oh, something can go wrong and we all die because it's exploding or something. That's oh. how I feel. No, oh. I like literally I get so nervous around it and I'm like, okay, the vent is open. The vent is closed. Okay, make sure the vent is really closed because if it's not, then pressure will come out. And I, Look, I have anxiety. <laughs> you so, and everyone else on this planet. Right, especially right now. And so I'm just kind of like, okay, well, let's go see what he's doing. Mm-hmm. I have to release the pressure for you because you've never I didn't know. You didn't know you had to release the pressure. So no. once the beep went off, so after those two minutes. The beep that I didn't hear. Clearly you didn't hear something, which is fine, whatever. <laughs> or you didn't set the timer right. Is what I'll have to show no, you. No, I set but, the timer exactly how the video told me. If it's not if it's wrong, YouTube YouTube lied. YouTube. <laughs> you lying bastard, YouTube. Hey. The- family show. How dare you say that about YouTube? <laughs> and my son fighting for YouTube. <laughs> Man, if YouTube could hire any kid. Sure they have. Well, they have. Um, so anyway. Back to the I vent- awesome I had to vent- I ventilated it. And once I hit the vent, everything, all the smoke is coming up. And, like, sh- and Chris is like, is this like normal? I'm like, it's normal. Just uh, This is where the messy part comes in. And, and you're then, like, don't cover it up. Don't cover it up. I'm like, I threw a napkin over a towel over it. I'm like, it's still spewing hot water on everything. Might as well just collect it. No, first. I was like, no, don't. It's like, Ugh. <laughs> so anyway. You open, you go to open, and I'm kind of nervous because I'm thinking to myself, how long has he had this? I wasn't paying attention to your cooking thing, and I didn't know what you were doing. And we opened it, and we were like, it was aged to perfection. It was. It was so good. And that was just the first stage. I had to add ingredients after because we didn't want to overcook the spinach. So I added the spinach after, I added the tomato after, I added the pesto after, and it was scrum. Oh, it was so good. I'm, so I'm really proud of you. Yeah, no, I, I'm excited because I don't appliance cook. Again, you're that's what I was going to say. Yeah. So you were like, I'm a great cook. And I'm like, no, you never did the multi pot though. Like, <laughs> anything, don't get me wrong. Like, you really can't mess it up if you follow all the directions, which right. you totally did. But some, you know, if you are off a little, I get so nervous with chicken, especially. So yeah, I'm I was not, a little, I was a little that. nervous about that. But man, once we started mixing that thing, I was like, this, this thing is unstoppable. No, especially with all the all the ingredients in there, and it was gonna like simmer in that hot, 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 like hotness. The, oh. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that. I was looking I think for that the was, next word. To be honest with you, that was very clear. Was it okay? Yeah, it uh, was <laughs> hot, 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 hotness. hotness. Uh, kept, That's the name of this me. episode. <laughs> You know what we brought? The hot, 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 hotness. <laughs> I did a, you, I you missed my shimmy. It was, is that what those are called? <laughs> no, that was, was a like shoulder a, shrug. It was like a something. shoulder, like. I was like, it oh, was yeah. like oh, it? Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, I'm feeling oh, it. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm wearing a spaghetti strap. Oh, oh. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I was excited and everybody enjoyed it. Everybody that had it or tasted it enjoyed it. I was so sad Juline had to leave before she could have some. I know. So I would save it for her, but I think it's going to be gone in about an hour. Everybody realized there was leftovers. I'll just today. make more. Yeah, and I, I'm eating it for dinner. So <laughs> for two days in a row now, I don't care. Yeah. I had it for lunch today. <laughs> I had it for breakfast. Did you? No. Oh. But that was fun, Eric. That's funny. <laughs> You're silly. All right, let's get into right now, right now. Okay. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Okay, so we were on a newspaper. Oh, my God. So we're so famous. Oh, my God. Like, seriously? <laughs> ah! We were on a newspaper. We were, we're like on one fanning newspaper. We're ourselves on, right like, now. We're fanning ourselves. Yeah, because we turned the fan off to record, and I'm it's, freaking on fire. It's really hot. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we... Uh, I'm so excited about this, the way everything came out in the pictures and everything. It was like the all timed properly too. So I think we, did we talk about this at all? I I think we talked about this in the last episode. We did. I think we talked about, because we posted online, the photographer coming to our house and like leaning across the couch, trying to get the right angle with our lap, our computer set. And Eh. and COVID, you know, so he's got a mask on and he's trying to stay away from us and Mm -hmm. not get too close to us, but also take pictures of us. Oh, they were awesome. Oh, it's so crazy. But yes, uh, his name is Terry Pearson. Mm -hmm. And then Fielding did did the, uh, Fielding Fielding Buck Buck did did the the article. 
article. Yeah. And uh, we owe them a debt of gratitude because the way that they did everything was just so incredible. It yeah. was such a cool experience. So the the digital article came out earlier in the week last week. And that was cool. We kind of thought that might be it. We didn't realize 100% if it was going to print the same day or if it prints over the weekend. We had no yeah, idea. It got we pushed back once, too, because of all the uh, rioting and all the protesting. And yes, stuff. So which is clearly going to take precedent course. over a silly little yeah. podcasting family. Yeah, they're like, they're like, we have to reschedule. I'm like, no problem. Nope. We get it. So Please it got do. pushed back, so it was a little confusing. Right. And it came so out sooner sure. than we thought, too. Oh, it did. It yeah. totally did. We were like, no, this isn't coming out until the 20th. And then you were like, no, it's online right now. Oh, I started getting hit up, and I was freaking out, and I was just so excited. Okay, there is a, there is a certain level of excitement that yes. you get when it's your own success okay you get uh you know when something you see something really cool that you that you, you're getting applauded for that's yes. yours or you got an interview with somebody and you're just like oh that's cool look at that's everywhere right now this is so neat there is a whole next level of excitement and just oh it's if it just I don't know the words for this. It just felt so good that it was our family. The whole family, right? It was all of all yeah. five of us and, in our and, studio, in and our it looked so cool. And the article began with the names Aiden and Cassie. Yeah, it was about the kids. Mm -hmm. It was about the kids. It was about them. It was about what we're doing as a family. It wasn't about mom or dad. You, you know, you and I, we've had a level of success with little things we love to do, but. It was so neat to see this for our family mm -hmm. and to like live through them. And you and I have always said this, and I'm talking a lot. I'm sorry. And you and I have always said this from I'm a talker. Don't, I say, for a living. don't say you're sorry. <laughs> I, you and I have always said this from the very beginning when you and I hooked up. We better have kids that get us rich. Damn it. And that is what we succeeded in doing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That's not it. We almost said that. We've said that maybe once. Okay. Yeah, but it was really late at night and we had a lot to drink. I don't know what we were drinking. Uh, we've always said your and my biggest success is going to be this family. Mm -hmm. And we know it. We know it. We had this gut, this feeling. We just knew that for some reason our family was going to be special because of these children. Yeah. Everybody's different. Everybody's personality is so different. And everybody is so, um, has different dynamics. And I mean, they called and talked to Aiden on the phone. Aiden's like, oh yeah, I'll take this phone call. Oh I'm my like, God, who says so I'll take this phone call? He's so incredible. I walked in and I'm like, I, I kind of gave him a little background. Like, hey, Fielding's on the phone. He wants to ask you some questions. And he looks at me and he's like, okay. And he takes the phone. He said, like, oh, I'll take this phone call. He gets on the phone. And he's like, Hi. How, how are you? And he just answers quite, he's a kid and he's like poised. And where did he learn that? Cause I know that's not from us. He's in the room. He's listening and he just smiled at me. So I think he can hear us. <laughs> Aiden, can you hear us? <laughs> he whispered. He whispered. Yeah. He whispered yeah. <laughs> I just got to say, I, I was proud. I'm just so proud of these kids. I mean, all three of them, like in their own endeavors and for it to be recognized in a cool article, and you and the Cassie, editing though, the I'm, editing though, <laughs> the editing though, the editing on that audio though is amazing. It was incredible. No, yeah, no. I think that the cover picture uh, of Cassie and myself, or not the cover picture, or whatever was that? Yeah, it, cover yeah, picture. Was like a, I was on the cover with Charlize Theron and Tom Hanks. Uh, this is true. This is, you can actually say that. I know I did. Like, that I is, just said I'll say it again. No, but I, I was mean, on like, the cover with Charlize like, Theron. You can say Tom that Hanks. forever and ever and ever and ever, and that's never going to be like, not the truth. <laughs> I was on the cover with Eon Flux and and uh, Woody. <laughs> true. I was on the foot that no, but Forrest Gump, think, Forrest Gump. For, no, but I can't think of another one for uh, Shirley. So she, was in, job. she was in Monster. Oh. Monster. Oh, she was the president candidate in a in a that movie we just yes, saw with Seth Rogen. <laughs> with Seth Rogen. Yes, that's a great movie. Oh, uh, far far lot far chance far luck far luck make make no wait wait the long again. shot the long shot that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for doing the article, Press Enterprise. Huge shout out to you guys. And not even just the Press, press Enterprise. Yeah, it's the news group that, that does it. Put it in every one of their papers. Oh, my Register. God. The Register, the, the Press, the San Bernardino Sun. The, I mean... I had somebody hit Whittier me up. Whittier something, the Long Beach something. I was just going to say, I had somebody hit me up from Long Beach. They read the article and uh, went to the website and messaged us. I just blown away yeah i'm really really happy with it. it was so exciting and again there's nothing like the feeling of succeeding 
um, with your family. Yeah, it was nice. It was super cool. Plus, we saved money on family photos. I cannot wait to frame all of those. <laughs> Okay, so before we end it right now, right now, uh, Cassie has to come in here and give us oh, her right now, right now, Cassie. because she's got a very, really good one. Okay, Cassie, what's your right now, right now, honey? My right now, right now, is that I have a retainer on and no braces. Hey! Bye-bye, braces! And the one thing you cannot see <laughs> with this podcast is her finger up, doing the Donald Duck thing, and her neck doing a lot of attitude, and a whole <laughs> lot of, like, I'm the thing. Is that what it is? I... I guess Donald Duck. Why did she just go put her head in the ground right now? She is she ashamed of what I just did. Yeah, it was kind of. You know Donald Duck where he dances with his finger out like that. (laughs) Oh, like and Donald Duck doesn't have fingers to feather. (laughs) No, that's Pee Wee Herman. That's da 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 da. Oh gosh. Oh no, that's the other one. Anyway, Cassie's dancing though. She is so happy to have those braces off. I can eat my dad's gumballs. That's true. He's got a gumball machine, and he would not let her eat them because she, she had braces. Now I have to share. Now you, those things are going to go twice as fast now. All right. Well, if you uh, work for Double Bubble, uh, could you sponsor the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> we really like your gumballs. Um, and how do your... With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Your retainers, Phil. You've got two of them. They feel slippers. <laughs> I, and she slurs her words. Did she say they feel fierce? I think so, but I'm not 100% did sure. Did you say fierce? No, I said weird. Oh. Weird, weird. but she's, she was slurry. Yeah, the she, as soon as she had them on, I was like, oh, that's just so funny. Like how, you know, it's so funny when they start talking when mm-hmm. they have their retainers on because they talk different for oh, a yeah. while until yeah, they they're really used to them. But um, I think you look really cute with your retainers on. Thank you. <laughs> she was super excited. We, she was so excited. She didn't even drink soda. She had a soda. Yeah, that was that was cool. She's like, I want Coke. And I'm like, babe, slow down. Hey, You're only okay, nine. Okay, okay. And then slow. she goes, no, Coca-Cola. And I was like, well, duh. Love you, babe. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. All right, let's get into our topic. All right, so we haven't done a show for a while. And should we talk about why? Okay, there's an elephant in the room. There is an elephant in the room. And the funny <laughs> thing is, is we had an article put out about our family that does a bunch of podcasts. <laughs> And we haven't done a podcast in two or three weeks, so I'm saying it right now, straight up, yeah, 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 that it looks bad. It's our fault. It looks bad. That's totally our fault. It's really more, I feel like it's really my fault, but- I wouldn't say that. I feel like it is. No, there's been a lot of things happening, and with between, between everything that I'm doing for This Is Funner and everything that you're adapting to with KGGI, yeah. and, and then everything that we're trying to keep our kids involved in- even though we're home, but through yeah, Zoom meetings, through Zoom meetings and everything. And then the few times that we have to go to like a store or we have to, we have somebody has to yeah. come. Yeah. I mean, there's the, that's the excuse. We were, we literally just felt overwhelmed uh, yeah, actually, a little bit. Yeah. We just, no, no, honestly, we, just, and, we don't have an excuse really. And we're the just, point of this, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the point of this podcast, and I think most people that listen and, and I get messages all the time and people are still catching up. Some people have just started it, which Thank God bless you. Like, thank, thank you. you. And I really feel like you won't get nothing's way topical. There are no. some things that we talked about, like Black Lives Matter, that that, that stuff. But that could also go over it's, well anywhere. Yeah, no, it's all it's all pretty uh, evergreenish. It is, and so you could listen whenever, and that's great. But I feel like um, there was a time when I was I was getting a little bit nervous because I hadn't. Um, I was like, oh man, we we said we were going to be more consistent mm-hmm. about this, but the deal that we made was. This podcast is for fun. It's for us. It's for you and me to connect and do a project together because we don't get to do a lot of projects together besides Correct. make babies. <laughs> My favorite project. But I, but I will say... <laughs> the look on your face. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just agreeing. But yeah, so I, I didn't... We don't ever want this to be something where we're like 
forcing ourselves yes. to do. Yes, and I, and I can uh, 100% back her up because uh, look, Cassie and I didn't do a show last week. It was just uh, it was it was a longer week for us. Yeah, so busy, I, busy. It, by the time it came around and it was time to do it, or, or the, even after the time to do it or get it out, I was just. Um, uh, we decided not to. Yeah, it was best for us because yeah. it made us happier. So we were going to do it. Force yeah. anything like mm-hmm. that's the whole idea. Like it's this isn't a job for us. We don't make money at this, you not know. And at all. no, and it, this is a fun thing for us. But we love doing it. Mm-hmm. We are audio family. We obviously we love talking. And there were many conversations. I wish we had put a microphone Recorder. in front of our face for the, over the last few weeks. But maybe you I'll know, start doing that. That'll I be mean, a lot easier than, to, to, than to, sitting down and talking yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, we got to actually put something in our calendar. Where we can't just record ourselves while we watch Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Oh my god. Because <laughs> let me just tell you, I'm rewatching. We were watching all of Grey's Anatomy. Anyway. Little gray just, oh my gosh. The, little gray. The plane crash just happened. <laughs> it, that was actually Chris's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're over it. Um, I did the ugly cry last Friday <laughs> watching that. <laughs> I thought it was a dream. No, it was really happening. I was ugly I was crying in bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's so. It's it another so topic. Bad. Okay, we'll talk is, about I know. That Maybe that's anyway. why we didn't do a show. You were ugly crying for a week over Grey's Anatomy. I woke up and my eyeballs were so swollen. It looked like we got in a fight. Like I mean, we. It looked like. Oh great! That's the first place. No, you go? I mean that's what I'm saying. Like it was like crazy. Like, oh my god, what happened to you, mom? Like I, and we had one of our you know best friends' little girls here with us, and I was I looked at her and I was like I laughed because she knew what I had been doing the the night prior. Like she knew. Yeah. And I was like, um, it was the plane crash, and she's like, oh, I get it, I so get it. <laughs> Yeah, because she watched it. Uh, I, it was it was funny because Cassie we and I didn't get to see it that night because you were having your moment and I was tired. But the next morning, uh, I was like, "Did you get through the plane crash last night?" And you're like, "Yeah." yeah. And I'm like, "Okay, well, we got to rewatch it because of Cassie. She wanted to watch it. She and wanted I'm, to see I want to kind of see it too." Yeah. And, she, and, and you're like, "Okay, we'll do it again." It's just so <laughs> dramatic. I cried again. I didn't ugly cry this oh, second. I'm no, glad you missed you the cried. ugly cry. I'm, I'm glad you guys missed that. Are you sure? I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't stop. I was like, the, you, you know, it's just like, you, you I know, remembered no. it like it was the first time I watched it, you know, and I was like you so could. invested in all those characters. Do the noise. Do the noise if you can't stop. <laughs> do what? the noise. Do the noise if you can't stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same noise my car used to make in high school. Ah, you, little did you know it was your future wife's ugly cry. Oh, my God. It's the same <laughs> thing. I didn't know you sounded you like an what? Oldsmobile. One day, I'm going to marry a woman that sounds like this when she's ugly crying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had high expectations. I'm glad. Thank you, babe. You nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't own that copyright. Sorry. We don't I... want to pay your money. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, anyway. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, we do enjoy the hell out of doing the show. We do. And and so, again, I promise we will for sure try to be doing better about making it every week. But we're parents. I, I mean, I think a lot of parents that listen to this understand that. So, and we're still, just, we're, now I'm, I, uh, now I'm looking at all the news and I'm gearing up for like, okay, school year next year. I'm like, okay, cool. We not we move some stuff around. We need to make a classroom environment because my kids suck at trying to do stuff here. <laughs> well, I was trying to be nice and give them a wee work. Nah, they need f- like structure. Yeah, they really do. They do. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. Like they do. And thank God we have a good like school that they go to because yeah. they really do help. Yeah, yeah, that spring structure. Is amazing. Yeah, we, yeah, we love them. But they they are really good about making sure that they are structured every day. But we do need to have them. A, they need a designated designated space for them to sit. And do their thing with their headphones and sit, you know, and so okay, yeah, we're so, we're gonna be working on that for the next few weeks. hundred percent. Sure. And this the the only bad thing is we can't have a classroom for the seventh grader. What grade is he going in? Seventh grade. And then Cassie's gonna be going to the fourth. Yeah. So we can't have a seventh grade classroom and a fourth grade classroom. And they've gotta be We can't even have separate restrooms. <laughs> is that do we have to do what? that? Would you have to comply like male and female restrooms for the school when it's school hours? Um at our house. I know. I'm just, you now always, you're just being dumb. I know. The only reason I bring it up is because uh, then this is not a lie at all. Cassie just ran in the hallway behind you while you were talking, holding her butt because she had to go poo. TMI. TMI. She yelled TMI. Don't out your baby. I'm going to go poo. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> I didn't even know what happened. I know. You didn't even see it happen. That's why I'm like, I was looking behind you. Like, she's all. Dancing. Yeah, it was quite funny. Anyway. 
Okay, yeah, so well, no, we do have to, we have to, get, um, we have to give a little more, um, well, I think, table space. It'd probably be the best. Yeah. And Aiden has a desk. We just got to yeah, clean flushing. it off again. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then our oldest is about to be a high school senior. And oh my God. she's freaking nuts. So I had, to just, I had to fill out all that paperwork today about the three options that she has. Oh, what, are we okay, yeah, what, there's like the I, three seashells? Yeah, no, that's oh, Demolition not, Man and has nothing to do with the school oh, year. Oh, okay, okay. I was confused. Um, she had to, I have to decide whether she's going to go into school or if I choose for her to do home study or if I choose for her to do, which is virtual school. Yes. Or if I choose to homeschool her and I'm like, hell to the no, I'm not trying to homeschool my mm. high school senior. Mm, she passed us about four uh, years ago. Yeah, I'm sorry. She's way smarter. <laughs> like, like She'll I'm be good teaching at math, me. but not that good at math. Oh my God. I think she's in like calculus or pre-calc or something. I'm like... Uh, no, I don't know yeah. what they, what is he saying. I don't know. If I so, took summer school, I could probably catch up maybe to her math, but everything else, I'm I'm lost. No way. Yeah, yeah she passes in every avenue. Her AP classes and crap. Yeah. So I'm like, not even a chance. I'm going to try to homeschool her. The other option was at virtual school, but virtual school's great and all, but it's her senior year, and so she's like. Mom, I really want the opportunity to try to go in if I can, even if it's just a few. The virtual's days a week. half and half, right? No, virtual is home. Virtual, but with a school teacher. Do they have a have set a schedule? Yes, oh. every day, Monday through Friday, and like school oh, hours, and then some that are broken out, which okay. is, you know, also good. It's like a home, basically. You know, it's, a, it's a routine. It needs it's a routine. To be, yeah. But she, the other option was the one she wanted, which was basically going in to school. Every day? But, 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 that's only if it's allowed. So at this point... Mm -mm. I signed off on her being allowed to go in with the restrictions of like everyone has to wear a mask. Everyone has to be socially distanced. They're going to clean things up before she goes to every. It's just a big thing, which makes me believe they won't do that right away. They won't implement that for another couple months, maybe. But what they're working on right now, and we'll find out in the next couple weeks, is they're if they're going to do a hybrid, which is that some students will be in school when others are doing home home study. Like we did in the spring. Yep. And then other days, those kids will go into school and the other ones will do home study. So that is more likely what it's going to end up being. So she'll still at least get to go to school a couple days a week. Yep. And then, or one day a week or so, you know, whatever it you know, is. No, no, I think, I think a hybrid of that. Remember the year round schedule where like the, there was like two or three weeks where they overlapped where like yeah. you had early or late or whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. If they did a hybrid of that and a hybrid of the going in uh, only a couple days a week, mm -hmm. they could make it. So there's only a few, God, I don't no, even know how many kids so are in many, school anymore. There's so many but kids at can, that school. But they can make it so they can control at least a little bit of it because they don't have staff. They don't, they're not going to hire new teachers for this or security. No, no that's the hard so, part. That's, so that, that's the thing is like, so they have to do this all in the budget now. So it's going to be harder. But if they did something like that, if they had the resources to break it down and make it happen, that could work, I would think. I think that that's, so that's why we picked that avenue. But the idea of picking it now in July, like early July, is because the thought process be behind it all is this way we can staff whichever one these parents are choosing. So yeah. let's say the majority exactly. pick this in school, even though if it might be hybrid or it might not actually be in school for a few months, um, with the possibility of going back into school, then they know how many teachers they need to staff there. And then they know how many teachers they need to staff the virtual school. Yes. And then ha it, there's no teacher for home study. Home study is is you your parents right yeah, it, but they give you parents. do they give you any type of course they do have they a give curriculum you all the, they give yeah. you the curriculum okay, but you're but teaching still, it, though, yeah. but we're teaching yeah it. i can't no okay we're not doing that but i mean here's my thought not for my senior here's not, my thought. not even close and i don't want to get too deep in this this is totally another discussion i think for a couple weeks from now when we're getting close when we actually year. know what's happening yeah. yeah but i think that's um the problem that we might run into and it sucks uh but it's it's a legit thing to think about uh we might not have enough teachers Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like, we're going to run out of teachers that care. Because there's going to be a lot oh, of them who are like, yeah. I'm serious. There's going to be a lot of them who are like, ah, it's two years from retirement. I'm not going back. I got I You know what I mean? Think, so, I didn't even think about that. I, I don't know. I uh, have no idea. I don't know enough that's about... why. That's why I don't want to get into it too deep. But I think that there might be a problem later down the road where we don't have enough teachers to facilitate this because 
think about it. How many kids are in a classroom? 30 to 40? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they won't be like that. No, I know. Not they won't based be like on, that. Not under pandemics. So then how are you going to split that up anyway? That's what I'm saying. Like, they have to come with a hybrid. Let's not get too deep because... Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. There's going to be a hybrid. Hopefully, they have a hybrid. That's the whole idea. Yeah, it's we'll, like We'll get into it in a few weeks, or we'll bring it up again in a few weeks. But. Yeah, we'll, we'll fill you in because, you know, there's it's going to be weird. It is I, it's just going to be weird. weird. I, and it's a thing that everybody can relate to. Every one of us is, if you're a parent... Mm-hmm. Is for trying to figure out this new school year and if it's safe to send your kid to school and if do you feel guilty sending your kid to school? Because I know I did. I I signed that paper because my daughter is a senior. If she was a junior or a, a sophomore, mm-hmm. I might not have, and only because I would have been sense. like, you know what, I'm going to wait. I I want her to make sure she's at the optimum safety, but she's a high school senior and. She wants her damn high school senior year. And I, I can't get mad at her for that. I cannot. I mm. can't get mad at her. I am keeping her as safe as I can. And I told her I will make sure every, she goes to school with everything she needs if this is the avenue she wants to go. She's a 17-year-old girl, almost 18 years old. I, at some point, have to go, I'm going to give you this. No, of course. You know, I 100% so. agree with you. Um, we just have to make sure we keep ourselves safe yeah. along the way. Oh, and no, then- I, I'm going to buy so many things that I'm going to make sure she I basically just, when she walks into our home every day she's going to be like thrown <laughs> disinfectant all they, over they're going to remove all the metal detectors in school and just put it like they're going to be misters where it just sprays you with Lysol as you walk for like five minutes down it's the hallway it's going to be Monsters Inc <laughs> yeah. I'm going to throw a dome over her as soon as she gets here <laughs> <laughs> she comes out with no hair <laughs> sorry babe <laughs> use a wig hey look as long as you're clean <laughs> yeah. it's your senior year you wanted it right <laughs> And this is the price you got to pay. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for listening. Please go to thisisfunner.com. You can follow myself on Twitter, Chris underscore Donovan. You can follow Evelyn at Evelyn Arrivas across all platforms. That's where you find me. Please uh, reach out to us, rate, review, subscribe. Let um, us know what you want us to talk about. Like, what's on your minds? We'd love to hear what you're thinking, you know, yeah. as we're having conversations. Or we, I would love to be able to go back and be like, oh, remember we were talking about this? And yeah. this person weighed in on what a little, 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 little. Yeah, revisit it. And also, if you have children, like, just ha- have them check out the podcasts that our, our kids do. Because oh, yeah. if you want your kids to be involved in something like this, we can totally help you get involved with Absolutely. it and set you up. Absolutely. So, so again, this is funner.com. You can reach out to us at any time on all social platforms and that website if you have any questions at all. Because um, it's a time to, you know what? I, I actually read something today, and it was you live life to learn your purpose. And then you find your purpose and you live life to give that purpose away. And I think I found my purpose wow. in podcasting or audio or something along those lines, but I can help other people get that actual release. So Aww, if you want to do that, this is funner.com. Please go there. I love you, wife. I love you, husband. Um, thank you for listening again. Uh, Press Enterprise, big shout out to you. And until next time. We'll catch you later. Conversate with us. Conversate with us. Thank you for listening to Conversate with us. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.